Today is the start of the 2021 USA Cycling Championships here in East Tennessee. It means world class athletes are competing on our streets. And of course, that brings some detours and road closures you need to know about to avoid some of those headaches. I'm here to tell uh, all of you drivers out there what you need to know. Scott Erland from uh, Knoxville Police Department joining us right now. So, Scott, tomorrow's the big day as far as Knoxville. Oak Ridge had the time trials yes, today. Sir. Tomorrow we got the criterium. I mean, this is going to take up a little chunk of downtown. So, what do we need to know? Yes, sir. Uh, Friday, the Criterium starts. Uh, it's it's held. I think the first race starts at 6:15. Right. The women's race is 6:15. The men's race at 7:45. The road closures. It'll the, the Criterium is a shorter 1.1 mm -hmm. mile course, yep. uh, just around the downtown area. The primary road closure that to, to be uh, know about is Southgate Street mm -hmm. from Church to Cumberland. That's going to be closed off from tonight, and that will actually be closed off. Uh, through the uh, remainder of the weekend. Okay. Uh, shorter course, so those road closures, really the other road closures subsequent for that uh, course um, take place on at 4 p.m. and they'll run till about 9 p.m. or so. It's really for the duration of the two races for the yeah, most part. That's but it's separate Gay Street, yeah. Yes, sir. Okay, okay. And then obviously on Sunday, it's the long road course, right? Yes. So you got downtown, a part of that, part of South Knox, James White. This this covers a pretty good chunk of area. Yes, it's an eight mile course, yeah. or just a little under a hair under eight mm -hmm. mile course, and uh, it's an all day event. Right. It's going to impact obviously some of your traffic downtown, some of your traffic in South Knoxville. You alluded to Sherrod Road, uh, James White Parkway, and it goes a little bit into North Knoxville, that central area. Um, Nobody needs to worry. There's there's multiple access points in and out. Obviously, as long as that course, once the race is passed by, there's access points in and out of each of those areas, um, and and we, they've they've made accommodations for any of the residents. But just want people to know it's an all day event. Um, there's going to be road closures. Traffic is mm -hmm. going to be impacted. So just be patient and and if you can, maybe alter your travel plans a little bit. Yeah, yeah. Kind of think about it before you head out and give yourself time. Also, even near those access points, you may be stuck there for a little bit. Sure. And those officers will be sitting there kind of eyeing everything and directing the traffic. Yeah, obviously, those access points are only open mm -hmm. when the racers have, have made their way and they've cleared that right. area of the course. So there, there's still an opportunity that if you catch up at the wrong time that you're going to be held up, but we'll get you through as soon as we can. And we just got to keep the uh, uh, those participating in the race safe and everybody else around the area safe. Big deployment for you guys. It is. I think yeah. it might be our biggest deployment of officers all year. Really? And it's our biggest one in a long time. Obviously, we didn't have a, a whole yeah. lot of events when we were dealing with the, uh, the pandemic. And thankfully, we're getting uh, on a little bit maybe on the back side of this where we can have these kind of events. Yeah, definitely. And obviously, for everybody out there, just be patient. That's going to be the key. That's you know? a big thing. All right. Scott, appreciate it, man. Everything you guys do is going to be a a fun weekend, but a long weekend as well for some of those crews. So. Yeah, not every day you get to see some Olympians in your backyard. I so tell you what, take advantage. It'll be fun for the officers too, man. Some of those posts to kind of <laughs> see them racing by.